How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Uh, ooh, I look a bit tired. Sorry about that. Sorry to all the girls that have tuned in. I'll be back to my best on the next video, that's a promise. Uh, this is a bit of an ad hoc video. I'm down at the brew unit and I am constructing a brew chamber or brew fridge. Uh, I've got an ink bird, I've got a heat tube and I've got an old bar fridge with a glass front. Why bother with a fermentation fridge, you might be wondering. Well, there's a few reasons. Uh, one is maintaining a constant temperature is good for the yeast. It keeps them happy, uh, it makes for less stressed yeast and obviously happy yeast makes for better beer. So that's one. Number two is it gives you uh, control um, over uh, fermentation temperatures. Obviously you can go higher, uh, which can result in, uh, in, in fruitier beers. And if obviously, if you want to go um, to the other end of the spectrum, you can, you can lager around seven, eight degrees. So it just gives you more options over uh, what you can brew. So here we have the work in progress. Uh, my little fridge down there, the black one. On the right is, is Ed's uh, brewing fridge, fermentation chamber, call it what you will. He's got some swill cooking in there at the moment. Um, that's an Imperial Stout. Last seen just over 10% on its way towards about 14, we're expecting, so it's a biggie. Smelling really good too. Anyway, back to the fridge. So um, yeah, I've got a, um, well, first of all, the eagle-eyed amongst you um, may notice that this is actually version two of this video because I cocked up the first one. Um, thanks to a guy called Spit Roast, or I assume he's a guy called Spit Roast. It might be a girl, but slightly unusual name for a girl. Um, so yes, thank you to Spit Roast. Um, you noticed a boo-boo that I had made with the, um, with the tube. Um, I had a two-foot tube and it was mounted vertically, which is a no-no because they can burn out. So yeah, fair play. We've changed that. It's now a foot and it's at the bottom and we created a, a state-of-the-art shelf. I say we because actually I uh, I don't do the hard yards myself. I have uh, the hired help. He's over there. There he is. Loves it. Um, yeah, so we got a shelf now um, and uh, I'm going to put the tube underneath so the heat can distribute nicely. Spit Roast also said that I should insulate the door, but um we'll see we'll see what happens with the first trial and perhaps do that um but yeah there we are here we have ye olde ink, ink bird user manual i think i'll be i think i'll be reading that ed you know about these don't you what do you mean what do you want to know everything oh there we go So it's very simple, just two 13 amp plugs. One controls your cooler, one con controls your heater. And a nice probe and a control unit. Anything to add? And complete <laughs> and, silence. And, and you've got a kit. You kind of summed it up. Though. All right, thanks. <laughs> and there we have it. Uh, got a 23 litre bucket in there, plus a demijohn. Stick it up, as you can see. So you, you know it looks good. It's obviously glass fronted. Um, the room is generally dark, um, but I'll have to create some kind of blind for it, possibly even insulate it, as I said earlier, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how she handles. You can see the probe, it's been left uh, mobile, so it, can act, so it can be sellotaped to the side of a demijohn or the, uh, the bucket, rather than being mounted to the, uh, to the exterior of the fridge itself. Uh, just getting up to temperature now, sorry about the flickering numbers. Because shortly I'm going to be changing these over uh, to carbonate a uh, Woodford Wherry extract kit, but also an all grain clone of Wherry 2. So that's just going to get ready. The Inkbird was £25, it's the ITC 308. The tube down there, that's a one foot tube, 60 watts, that was £23 on Amazon. Actually, the Inkbird was Amazon too. Plywood and screws for the uh, state of the art shelf, that was £5. Um, Hoping for some uh, some good fermentation action. And there we are. I have my wherry extract and all grain clones starting their carbonating conditioning journey. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's 14.3 at the moment on its way to 21. Um, when I first put them in there, they'd just uh, been cold crashing, so they were down to about three degrees. So it's been on a couple of hours. It's gradually creeping northwards um, and doing quite well. As you can see, it's all going on in here. This is real beer, that's just swill. <laughs> Ed's currently uh, bottling and demi johnning his Imperial Stout. Uh, in a minute. You can see the, <laughs> the, uh, 
the probe is sellotaped to the keg in the middle. Um, interestingly, with the with ye olde inkbird, uh, you can you can control the temperature really finely, so you can uh, control the um, the margin of uh, when the heating and the um, fridge kicks in, even as fine as 0.1 degrees if you want to. So it's 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 pretty good really. So there we have it. So that's going to get to temperature. Um, and yeah, very happy. And that's all she wrote. Bye bye.